Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight, I'm going to take a look at one from out of New Hampshire. This is actually from Smutty Nose Brewing Company. It is their Imperial Stout. And this one was actually done back February of 2015. As I saw on the day, it was bottle condition, but it comes in at an ABV of 10.5%. Now, the place that I know that uh, sold this to me, they do a good job of taking care of their beer, so no doubt it was sold in a warehouse for a while. So I have no concerns about how that taste may be on this one. But a nice big imperial stout there. Uh, this one, it makes notes on the label, big black and dominated by rich notes of coffee and chocolate. Drink it fresh for the hops or cellar it for a refined malty experience. So I think it's at 10.5 ABV. The IBU on this one is actually 99 I saw as well. Let's get it open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. I don't usually get smutty nose a lot around here, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out here. Now I did let this sit out for about 10 to 15 minutes already so I can let it warm up a little bit from coming straight out of the fridge. But you can see the initial pour there. Nice darkness of the body. It's got a nice mocha dark brown kind of head there. Now I'm holding it back from my face and I can already smell some of the aromas coming off of the moss. I'm already picking up some of that sweetness taking place. I can almost pick up some of the alcohol as well. When I get a light behind it, obviously not really piercing through. This one is pretty much dead on to what I would consider to be a jet black color. I'm still picking up some of those uh, dark fruits you expect to get, things like the raisins, things like the plums. You pick up that kind of uh, sweetness from this type of beer. Very malt forward, of course. Hops are more subdued now, two years later. But it's got a great little uh, sweetness to the smell. It's what you come to expect with something like this um, for some of these Imperial Stouts that are almost like a um, barley wine and some of the aromas that you pick up. So very dark fruit smelling, nice sweetness, a little bit of booziness coming out of there as well. But let's check the taste. Oh, okay. Let me get a second one just to confirm. Wow, two years later, definitely mellowed out. Not as bitter up front, but it has a great amount of body on it. Opens up nicely in the mouth for a good mouth feel. You really do pick up the flavors of the moss. You do get that dark fruit essence on the taste as well. Gets off the tongue and into the cheeks. I'm picking up coffee. I'm picking up um, some of that dark malt you expect to get that kind of taste from. It gets the uh, cheeks tingling a little bit. I almost have a little bit of that chewy sensation taking place already. Nice full body, good texture, not too thin at all. At 10.5 I wouldn't expect it to be. I like how it's got the mouth going though. Flavors are really just jumping off of it. It's got a nice complexity to it. Carbonation still sits fine on this one. I mean, oh, it's got a nice smooth and creaminess now into some of the flavor. Not totally creamy, but you have a nice, easy drinking uh, beer now, this stout. Not much of a bite to it. It really did take down some of that bitterness from letting it cellar for a little bit of time. Um, I'll have to try to see if they have another version that comes out more recent. Now, each year they've actually changed the ABVs on this one. I know this one came out at 10 and a half, as I mentioned. 2007, it was 10%. 2009, 8.9. 2010, 9.8. So 2015 was their biggest one at the 10 and a half percent that they use for ABV. Um, you do feel some of that maltiness. You feel kind of a toasted sensation with it. Very nice if you like kind of those maltier type be uh, beers where you almost have like that that roasted toastiness taking place and you have that nice essence of the chocolate or coffee. This one kind of has that kind of sense around it. Packs in nicely with some of those flavors, almost like a um, coffee bean type flavor. This one is going down pretty easy, which makes it a very dangerous beer. But all in all, this is a very decent beer. Like I said, aged two years, definitely worth a try. And the duration of the flavor is just kicking around so nicely. You know, as I'm not drinking and I'm talking, you can just still feel all those flavors kicking around. Uh, this is a nice one to go back out, put your feet up, um, out around a fire pit on the back deck as it gets um, a little more to that kind of weather where you want to be sitting out there at night. And like I said, puff a cigar or something with this one, and you are set, ready to rock and roll. But this again is the Smutty Nose 
Imperial Stout. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. But like I said, if you see it out there, check it out. I may go back to my place and see if they have any more of these and actually get some more as well. But that all being said, thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you next time. As always, keep drinking good craft beers. And remember, remember if you like what you saw, to hit that like button. And of course, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as of yet. But I will catch you next time. Cheers.